Welcome back, 0K fans, to the 2020 April 21v1 tournament for 0K. Got that right. Okay. I remain your host, Dominic, or Shadow Fury, whichever you prefer. And we're going to be starting at round three with Randy versus Google Frog. And round three is going to be played entirely on Ravaged. Back to a standard design map rather than the random crags we had before, which did produce different maps every time because that is what random crags does. And now, now Randy versus Google Frog. Randy, one of the best players in the entire game. Google Frog, also a very strong player and the lead developer of the game itself. So this will be an interesting clash. And I gotta say, both players have... We've seen them play before, and they're both very strong. So I am excited to see this. Expect this to be a very good map. Very good match. I mean, the map's okay. I like the map. I think it's very pretty, but I do acknowledge the map itself, like, design-wise... It doesn't fit. It's a StarCraft map, and it doesn't always fit. So both players going for spiders is a bit of an indication of that. Just because of the fact that there is that one choke point. It's just, you get a lot more mobility with spiders than you do with any other factory. It is a strong choice. Both players going for relatively safe economic starts. Getting a little bit of scouting in here and there. Getting a few fleas around. Not really doing too much beyond that, though. I mean, this is a large enough map that it's difficult to get strong rating, especially with spiders. Though, neither player is setting up a whole lot of static defenses in their base. I mean, Google Frog with a half-built picket, but primarily focusing on their economy, looks like they just option selected the picket because they figured, well, just in case the fleas start coming in and being a bit of a problem, we'll have that half-built. Can complete it quickly. Picket Al Dante. Google Frog also setting up a bit of a scout, as is Randy. Both of them making sure that the natural expansions are well scouted. Neither player wants to be surprised by their opponent expanding a bunch. And it looks like that is going to be coming to fruition fairly shortly. Although Randy... I think Randy's kind of slightly... Oh no, they're not wise to it. Oh, they are wise to it now. They have seen that flea. And the flea, of course, will very quickly see that Weaver as well actually is not done anything about it. Google Frog, you do see this, right? Yes, Google Frog does see it. Google Frog clearly much more focused on setting up their expansion over to the eastern side of the map. Randy going for the same idea over to the west. And Google Frog with their flea going forward, getting torn apart by Randy's fleas. But the important thing is knowing that that timing is there. On the other hand, Google Frog going for a Lotus very quickly just to have the defense early on rather than having their own fleas go and defend, and going for Redbacks instead, very quickly going from Raiders to Riots. Not an unusual thing to do with with spider bots, and of course the fleas are still around. I mean, they can still do stuff. Speaking of, Google Frog queuing a bunch of side cliff movement commands to take advantage of spiders' altering mobility. Unfortunately, it's not going to be quite so clever when you see that the Lotus is entirely in a position to deal with this, but... Still a really cool idea. Google Frog with one... They saw the one last one, but it's not enough. There's no room in the main base to actually hit anything. I just love the fact that they've clearly rotated the camera to set up all these move orders to get the flea exactly what they need to on the cliff. I... That... I like that. A lot. And because there really isn't much of a... I mean, you guess you kind of could set commands just by kind of going like this. It sort of works, but... At some point, you have to, yeah, you know, you have to go around and rotate the camera. So that, that's just amusing. Ah. Flea, however, from Randy will be able to actually do a lot of damage. It is in the shadow of that metal extractor. The Lotus will not be able to get it until the metal extractor is dead, which incidentally will kill the flea in the process of dying. So Randy getting a slight advantage early on with their early expansions. Although I say that, as Randy has also taken this third expansion over to the south. However, the red bag coming in here from Google Frog could be causing some problems. Lotus was well in position to deal with that. Second red bag, however, won't actually be so easily deterred. Randy coming with their own red backs, which should be enough to keep Google Frog from completely overtaking this base. Although with Google Frog's commander on here as well, this could be a different story. Google Frog upgrading the commander, adding in a machine gun, as well as the nanolades, so the faster building and a much stronger weapon able to get rid of that picket able to start getting rid of some of these redbacks maybe not gonna, are they gonna go to the lotus no using the redback instead to just deal with range same time though widow coming in here putting google frog's commander in a terrible position 
This is dead. This is a dead commander. There's nothing to be said about that. Google Frog just threw a bunch of metal into their commander, and Randy able to get a massive advantage when it comes to attrition. Granted, that wasn't actually constructed at that point, but still. Randy starting to run, ahead, run away with the game, it looks like. Their expansions are very strong. They have loads of reclaim coming in here. 36 metal or 34 metal per second static compared to Google Fox 25 and a field of reclaim. This is what 2000 or 1000, well, 500 now metal coming in. Plus 15 per second though coming off of those weavers. And another widow coming here. I mean, early game widow. You don't often see this, but you also don't usually see that kind of commander rush these days. It comes up sometimes, but an early game widow is the exact counter. So, very cleverly done, Randy. I should also point out Randy is actually streaming them, streaming this on their own personal stream. And I am kind of curious to see what's going to happen. They'll probably upload that on YouTube as well. And that is it. Randy winning with a well-placed Widow crippling Google Frog's commander, putting them in a position where there's not much they could do other than sit there and watch themselves die. That is completely not what I expected at all but boy did that work anyhow we're going to be moving on to uh, i'll say man who told versus 400 i like that i think that's going to be a good match so yeah in case you're wondering what just happened google frog went for a bit of a commander rush and randy got a widow and completely stuffed it just Shut it down. And then Google Frog figured, well, not much more I can do because there's a bunch of other stuff going around the map and Randy's time to take it over. Yeah. So. Yeah, Google Frog just didn't really have the economy to come back after that. I think they were, they were banking heavily on destroying that one expansion over to the southeast. Anyway, second game, Mana 12 versus 400. Mana 12 is actually expanding a lot less... Resistance going for shield actually. So we have shields. So hard again, half right again, though again, the wrong map. Shield versus spiders 400 is actually getting a bit behind. Shields already got their balls set up. Redbacks from 400 able to do some damage to the actual shields themselves, but there are enough rogues that the redbacks cannot approach safely. In fact, one of them just dies in the center of the map for no good reason. 400 with some good information, but Mano 12 having a massive economic advantage. Information is not going to be able to win you the game if you don't have the resources to actually build the units needed to deal with the units your opponent has. And Crab is going to be 400's choice for trying to deal with everything the opponent has built up, and I am a little underconfident in its ability to close this game out, or at least even things out for 400. I don't see it. 400 is... On the back foot. Their defenses are outranged. Their economies are their economies way behind. 15 middle per second. The crab is up and I mean it can do some damage, it can do some work, and I would like to see it actually manage to help pull this game back. I just am doubtful it's gonna actually find any purchase. Wow, this is Less evenly matched than I thought. I mean, granted that... Now, I don't like to listen... Or don't like to t pay close attention to the colors and the stars. Because that often doesn't say much. But in this case, it says volumes. 400 managing to get some fleas up. Able to take out quite a few of these, ro or these rogues, in fact. And that is... That's good. Definitely for the cost. So 400 can de deal with the rogues. Push them back. And maybe harass out with the crab, like get rid of some of the shield ball, take care of some of the metal extractors. That will be useful, because the shield ball cannot go up this cliff. So 400 still has some advantages up their sleeve. Though they're also going for a crow. Are you kidding me? I take a lot of what I said back. 400's lost this. They do not have the money to afford a crow. At all. You need easily 50 metal per second to be able to afford a crow in any reasonable amount of time, and that is not the case. Six minute, e or seven minute ETA, at the best of times. And 400 is under attack. Yeah, and they're, they're just throwing in the towel. That is game. I am not surprised. Uh, 
Okay, Google Frog in the chat pointing out that they realized that Randy was getting a slight economic advantage and decided to go in with a commander rush just because that breaks the symmetry of the match, which would have worked too if it weren't for that meddling widow. <laughs> would have worked too if it weren't for the meddling widow. And now I've just imagined a weird like alt alternate universe or like distant sequel to Scooby-Doo. I mean, granted that whole series runs in comic book time and nothing ever advances, but where the characters are like seven years old. Like, what do I want to get away with the two of horn for you meddling widows? Well, anyhow. It's a strange tangent to go to. But what's less strange is the results of the match, which are well, again, a very quick win. Rav Ravage is like that. You know, Ravage can be like that sometimes. So it looks like we have a couple more matches still ongoing. Now let's check out Dabakepin exists. Oh no, they just Ah! That just finished. No, no, forget it, forget it, forget it. No, that just finished as I joined the match. So yeah, we're going to be moving on Waiting for round two. Because it looks like everything's just finishing up. Actually, no, it's Gold Spaghetti and I'm not null. Let's check that out. I haven't seen Gold Spaghetti yet. I mean, Gold Speed is a player I haven't seen much of, but apparently they've been playing quite a bit because they're. I, it looks like they're. I want to say platinum, but that's not what we call it. I think Super Giant. Yeah. I think they're Super Giant. Looks like if I'm reading the symbol right, it might be Neutron Star even. Starting out with Spiders against Spiders. I'm not null. Opening up very quickly with a lot of wind generators. Gold Speedy going for a bit more of a typical build. Taking a lot of the map very quickly, too. But not able to completely take down I'm Not Null's expansions. Actually, put himself in a bit of an awkward position. I'm Not Null trading evenly with Gold Spaghetti. Mostly just reckless fights coming here. The crap again from I'm Not Null. Breaking the stalemate. Opening up the center of the map. Leaving Gold Spaghetti's center expansions rather exposed. The Gold Spaghetti coming in with some locusts. Trying to stop this, but looks like I'm Not Null has this sorted. Raven's coming in, taking out the commander, and that is opening up a massive hole in Gold Spaghetti's lines. That's exactly what the crab is taking advantage of, trying to go up the hill, but crab coming in here from Gold Spaghetti. That will be able to put a bit of crabbush on this, but not for long. Crabs, and I'm saying a lot of butts. There's a lot of butts in this stream. But I do when I'm talking fast. However, there we go, that's an alternative route. However, the crab coming in from I'm Not Null being healed up and the crab from Gold Spaghetti being stunned out by Venoms. With the Nimbus coming in from Gold Spaghetti, there's not going to be as much of a clear advantage, but it's still... But! But, but, but! But, 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 Back to the game. Crab coming... Crab... From I'm not null should be able to finish off Gold Spaghetti's crabs, and that is going to lead to a likely victory for I'm not null. They have no real obstacles left in the base. Gold Spaghetti trying to set up some locusts, trying to set up some recluses. It's not a bad idea, but I think it's too little, too late. I wonder if I can go an entire stream without saying but. I don't think so. I don't think it's a challenge I can take. Right. Razor being heavily damaged. I'm not null. Trying to take out the eastern side of the map. It's probably not worth it. They have the center map. They have this south side. They have well the main the main base of I'm not null under heavy fire. But I'm not null going for that cloaky bot factory. Sorry, not I'm not null. Gold's beginning going for the cloaky bot factory. Getting some phantoms up. Getting the Nimbus up as well. I mean, why the Nimbus isn't targeting these Weavers, I'll never know. 
Cold Spaghetti may not have been paying attention to that. As a result, that crab is going to be fine. I mean, the Phantom is doing a lot of damage. That crab is going to need to stay put. It won't be able to move. If that Phantom hits it one more time, it's gone. It's done. That Phantom will shoot it one more time, at least. But of course, it's got the... Oh, wow. Or it will miss because of Radar Wobble. Another option. That's a valid option. Not an ideal option, but that's what happens. Ooh. Well, that Thunderbird didn't quite manage where it needed to be. And now the Phantoms should be able to take out the Crab. There it is. Venom's coming in. Crab's gone. I'm not Null. Siege has been broken. It's not in time, though. We have Ra uh, Ravens. Two of them do go down. Oh, no. One goes down. One goes down. The other survives. One more coming in. It should be torn apart by all the anterior. In fact, the Phantom will probably shoot and kill it immediately. I'm not, no, I'm not even bothering. They decided instead to go for a frontal assault. A better option. Gotta say. <laughs> the chat. The clip of me saying butts repeatedly should be the third place prize. Hi. <laughs> Sure, why not? You can tell it's 4.30 in the morning. Uh. Anyhow, I mean, if you're watching on YouTube, it's whatever time it is for you. It's just 4.30 in the morning for me. I slept before this, but it clearly didn't take. Anyhow, Gold Spaghetti, they're finding some footing. They're getting a bit of their economy back. Unfortunately, not rebuilding a lot. We were coming around the side to do exactly that, so it's not completely lost, and hopefully they should be able to get this reclaim. I mean, there's a lot of reclaim here. I'm honestly a little bit surprised they aren't going for this. 5,000 metal reclaim. Gold Spaghetti has 7k reclaim, according to Dyth. It depends on how wide you expand the circle, but the easy one, 4k. Yeah, I agree with Dyth here. I'm not null. Could be in a very big world of hurt. Had Gold Spaghetti gone for four Weavers here, that's, that'd be, what, 30 metal per second extra? That would double Gold Spaghetti's economy. That would, that would double it compared to I'm Not Null, and that would double it for a good two minutes. That'd be more than enough for Gold Spaghetti to turn this game entirely around. I mean, at this point, it's a stalemate. If that was set up, it would be it. But it looks like that is not going to happen. There is a Weaver on the build queue. Crab being the first to be built flees afterwards, which would be fine for actual money, but in time, just this crab. This crab is the key thing, and that crab is taking all of the resources that would be going over to Weavers. So there's really just this Weaver, and is not even reclaiming. It's idle. Gold, spaghetti. What are you doing? Oh. That being said, that being said, I'm not null no, does not get rid of the stinger in time, losing the crab, reclaiming it very quickly, mind you. They're still short of crab. Gold Spaghetti now actually has the crab. They've they've closed the crab gap. We have another crab being built up by I'm not null, but that's not gonna be enough if I'm not null doesn't actually get that in position in time and gold spaghetti's going to be able to break through some of these lines. Not to mention the Phantom coming in here. Fleas are going to be able to take that out. Thunderbird as well, stunning out the Fleas as you do. Phantom still goes down. Fleas coming in from Gold Spaghetti along with the Reaver, which will be an effective counter. I don't expect it's going to actually do much in practice, though, just because we have the Recklesses coming in here. No! Never mind! The Fleas just go and die. Okay, and now the crab's in position, so we can start breaking the lines. Ah, okay. So, Gold Spaghetti, at least, is starting to do some reclaim. They have one of the Weavers on reclaim. They have a Caretaker being built up for reclaim. Another one being built up in the line. So, Gold Spaghetti will be able to get that reclaim eventually. It's not ideal, but... Eh, sure, why not? Raven's coming in here. However, the crab is 
well enough protected by the Phantoms that the Ravens are dissuaded from attacking and instead going for Razor over in the corner here. Trying, actually, no, trying to get the factory. Getting one of the builders instead, not a bad idea. They do know where the factory is for sure now. I think they knew that before. But hey, another Raven sweep could come in and take out the factory. I mean, five Ravens is all you need to take out the factory. Even with the Razor, just put six on there and you are good. Whether that's going to happen, I don't know. Still, the caretakers are coming in. Gold Spaghetti now able to get their economy back up and running when it comes to reclaim. And that advantage could put them over the edge. Now, that being said, I'm not null. They have 1,500 metal advantage. And there's no commander here or constructor or anything. Gold Spaghetti is not doing much with caretakers over on that factory. Now, the Spider Factory at home, they are absolutely using the Caretakers. They're definitely taking advantage of the Reclaim and putting it to good use. But I would like to see a bit more in the way of power infrastructure. Their power plants are somewhat lacking. 55 metal or 55 energy per second. They can't reclaim any more than they currently have without accessing. In fact, as it is, they're starting to excess simply because they aren't able to get that Reclaim or that Caretaker over here to actually help build. Gold Spaghetti should be fine, though. They aren't going to excess. I don't know, on the other hand, getting a lot of caretakers, getting a lot of reclaim over the center of the map, and the crab being stunned out is, or rather, disarmed out. It's kind of forced to stay put just because it can't easily get out of there. Actually, no, it should be able to get out of there. Honestly, why is that crab not moving? Like, move the crab to over here. Get it behind the hill. Get it behind cover. Really not sure. Honestly, I'm... Or Gold Spaghetti... They have not been doing a lot with the crabs they would expect for building heavy units. I mean, demi striders, really. Oftentimes, as we saw with I'm Not Null, you escort them with workers. You send in as many constructors as possible with the crab or other super heavy unit. Or not super heavy unit. Yeah. Or demi strider unit. Actually, super heavy is not a bad term either. Well, it's not super heavy, it's just heavy. Well, anyway, the demi striders or any kind of heavy unit, you send in constructors. Because you want to repair them. It may not matter, though. I'm not null. They are losing out on attrition. Or they're even on attrition, but Gold Spaghetti, again, coming in very far ahead on economy. And Gold Spaghetti coming in with a couple of fleas. Getting mostly scouting, but hey, some damage being done to the units in construction. Now, this is where it's going to be productive. Go into the wind farms. Start tearing them apart. Make sure the fleas are not near them. I use fight move, personally. Oh, that is clever. I like that. Move the fleas inside... So close to that. If that wind expire, I exploded. Move the fleas inside. The point was to move them inside. The ravens would have shot down the, or would have bombed the fleas and destroyed a bunch of the wind generators in the process. So I'm not null. Would have lost. Would have destroyed more of their energy economy than the fleas. And the fleas would have just been there to bait. But unfortunately, the fleas died of the death explosion of the wind generator, so it didn't actually come through. Good strategy. Maybe you would have wanted to hold fire on the fleas to make that work out. Yeah, the execution kind of fell apart. That being said, Gold Spaghetti, they have a strong economy. They're getting that reclaim. They're mostly getting the reclaim. I still think this caretaker... I guess it's, I see why it's doing that, but, like... Especially not that important. You have enough anti here. You're good. You don't need a Thresher. I'm not even sure Thresher's that great against Ravens, to be honest. It's really more for, like, Mass Locust or any kind of small force of air units. I don't see... Ravens are a bit heavier than that. A thousand, a thousand HP each? Eh. Seems unlikely. Same time, though, we do have Gold Spaghetti tearing apart the eastern side of the map, claiming that away from I'm Not Null. And again, Gold Spaghetti still with that massive reclaim field, turning it into a great many units, turning it into another crab of their own. And actually, at this point, do they have, a, oh, they have a crab in the field. Have a crab in the field holding the center quite nicely. Do lose a Weaver in the process, though. They're going to be able... I mean, Gold Spaghetti should still be able to take the center, no problem. A couple Metal Extractors that would be easy to take. Could use some reclaiming. Overall, though, Gold Spaghetti is... just doing a fine job. Like, they... that reclaim, once they finally got it, we're seeing the power of that reclaim hold the line, and Gold Spaghetti able to win on attrition. They're definitely able to win when it comes to production. The Ravens really being the only threat. If I'm not null lost those Ravens, Gold Spaghetti would have this game. Oh, Anna could point out in the chat that the Ravens wouldn't have actually bombed 
and killed off all these wind generators with splash damage. Eh. That's good to know. I think that still was what I'm not all was going for. Or sorry, what Gold Spaghetti was going for. However, now they're just going for snipe out metal extractors with a phantom. Clever. I like it. And at the same time, I'm not null, and they've been scouted out. Gold Spaghetti knows exactly where I'm not null has built up their economy. That phantom goes for one other metal extractor. Now going for wind generators, not the most efficient choice. I mean, this wind, this metal extractor is in range. Although I guess there are wind generators in the way, but still target it. Hey man, I'm out of though. I'm not null. They have fleas out. They're kind of being desperate with it, but the Reaver is just going to rip the fleas to pieces with no casualties, no damage even. And Gold Spaghetti has pretty much taken the entire map. No flea up here from the Phantom to try to take it out either. All it's just going to do is start ripping it. Okay, now there's the fleas. Fleas are finally coming in here. The Phantom will not be able to fight this off. But hey, it did good work. Got rid of a couple of metal extractors. It forced back all these fleas, opening up... I mean, not that the center of the map was particularly threatened anyway, but it opened that up even further. Just the pressure Gold Spaghetti is putting on I'm Not Null is quite amazing. Hey, I, when I got into this match, it was about 10 minutes... 14 minutes in. 14 minutes in. Half the match ago. And I'm not null was looking pretty strong. Gold Spaghetti was on the back foot. They were going to turn apart on all sides. They had crabs coming in. The workers healing I'm not null's crab. But then Gold Spaghetti turned that entirely around. They managed to stun the crab. Managed to take out the Nemesis. They went in. Eventually got the reclaim. And turned that reclaim into a very strong army. That's managed to wipe out all of I'm not null's expansions. Leaving them with their... Or all but the natural... Leaving them with 17 metal per second to Gold Spaghetti's 40, well, 30 without reclaim. Which is more than enough. So I'm not null, relying on reclaim to even remain viable remotely. And that's not going to last too long. We look at the reclaim fields here that are being taken. No, it's just, okay, the reclaim is going to last reasonably long, 1500. Yeah, okay, that lasts a couple minutes. The problem isn't so much how long it's going to last, assuming it's just taken. The problem is that it's not going to be just taken. The Phantoms are going to come in here, wait, take out the Weavers. We do have Thunderbirds coming in to stop some of the forces that were flanking. Clever from uh, I'm Not Null. While at the same time, Raven's coming along the side, wiping out as many Metal Extractors as possible. A little inefficient on the Metal Extractor destruction, but it worked out. And this last Raven taking one more pass to get rid of the Weaver to stop the rebuilding. There you go. That's how you do it. I'm Not Null. Showing they know how to harass a base. How to break a base. That is how you do it. It may be too, a little too late, though. Gold Spaghetti. They have all the fleas, and that's it. We'll be, able, we'll be able to get rid of a phantom. And honestly, Gold Spaghetti should probably just rush in. There's not much stopping them. I mean, okay, the Thunderbird's about it. If the Thunderbird comes off, it goes off again. Next time that goes off... That, to me, is the point where Gold Spaghetti should just go in hard. Reaver coming into the top. Although, the characters did go down. They'll need to be rebuilt. Gold Spaghetti, no, they're, they're fine. Gold Spaghetti's not reclaiming as much as they, as they were before. So, losing these caretakers is, quite frankly, completely irrelevant. Gold Spaghetti loses no effective build power by losing those caretakers. And now I'm not null over focusing in the southeast expansion. Probably should have focused on some of the other metal extractors. Honestly, if I'm not null, could take out all the metal extractors across the map with those ravens, which they very much should be able to. The threshers are no, the threshers are posed too much of a problem. I think over in the western side of the map it'd be a lost cause, but south side, yeah, I could take that out. Main base, probably take that out. Center of the map, again, probably take that out. And that would cut off a lot of Gold Spaghetti's advantage. Because right now, I'm Not Null is actually winning when it comes to attrition. They've taken the game back as far as that's concerned. And Gold Spaghetti just losing a lot of phantoms here and there. And that was quite a bit of their expenditure. That's 750 gold. Gold? What am I thinking? 750 metal every time. I don't even play games that have gold in them. Well, okay, it's not entirely true. I don't play any video games with gold in them. As a currency. 
guess Warcraft would be a game with that, but I haven't played any Warcraft. I haven't played Warcraft 3 since, like, 2007. But I never played the remaster. I That, it was a complete gong show to my knowledge. I'm disappointed I would have loved to play it, but apparently just did not work well at all, so I gave it a pit. I gave it a miss. Don't regret it. But that aside, Flea's coming in once again, and there's that Thunderbird stunning out the air factory and several of the Ravens. Now, this is the time to strike. And I, it seems that Gold Spaghetti knows it. Going straight in, some of the Ravens are still alive. Unfortunately, no tarantulas on Gold Spaghetti's side, so the Ravens are doing just fine. There are still enough of them around, despite the ones that got taken out by the Thunderbird. And the Thunderbird does stun... Well, it does disarm out the Recluse. That is going to be a failed attempt to attack. Hmm. Well, at any rate, tarantulas, or not tarantulas, tridents have been built. The thrushes are doing, actually, wow, quite a lot of damage. Okay, I can see why thrushes were built. Still not quite sure that they're especially cost effective, but hey, those ones were. <laughs> Those ones absolutely were. Thunderbird's not even able to get in. Does take out the crab, or at least disarm the crab, but the crab's not disarmed anymore, so... Yeah, not really that effective, all things considered. A lot of raven shots being wasted on that crab, and it's... That's two crabs against one. The crabs. Phantom and Scythe kind of hanging out, not really doing much, which I'm not really sure what they could do. I mean, I guess if the Phantom came in here and started taking out the air pad. Actually, that air pad went, that would probably be it. That Phantom took out the air pad. I mean, Nimbus is trying to come in and take it out as well, but Tarantulas are saying, no, you are not going to do that. Which is fair. Trident coming in. Is it just trying to tank? I'm not sure what that's trying to do here. Doesn't really accomplish anything. At this point, Gold Spaghetti seems to be flailing around, finding anything, looking for anything, searching desperately for some answer to the problem of how to deal with these forces. And that answer is just not forthcoming. All they're ultimately doing is donating metal to I'm Not Null. So... I'm not null. No. One thing I would like to see him do, actually, is more rebuilding. Rebuild more metal extractors, primarily. Get some caretakers here and there. Actually, they have the caretakers. How are they accessing? I mean, they are building airplanes, which they probably should. But, like, how are they accessing when they have three, they have 40 metal? Well, okay, I guess the time it takes to get off the platform might cause the excess. But still, you have 40 metal per second. Some reclaim could be done. At any rate, Gold Spaghetti is pushing in. Hard pushing with anti-air. If nothing else, this should at least set up the game for a close. Because if the anti-air is up, there's not a whole lot I'm not Null has to work with. Their entire army is ravens. And most of them are dead, actually. The Thunderbirds are also dead. Not much of an army left for I'm not null. Come to think of it, Gold Spaghetti's just about has this. So they just have to push in, break the last bit of army, and that could take a while. I will grant you. Flees constantly coming around the bat, tearing apart as much as they can, and then of course more ravens are being. Oh no, ravens just being repaired. Ah, oh, never mind. The Thunderbirds aren't dead. What am I saying? One of the Thunderbirds is dead. The other one is alive. But that is not going to be enough. Chainsaw's up. That's going to completely nullify the ability for air to do anything. Uh, I am not null. Cannot advance out of their base with air units and have any chance of staying alive. Gold Spaghetti, however, just doesn't have enough in the way of units to actually break through the base yet. That won't be torn apart by the Thunderbird. Oh, or unless the Thunderbird take... No, not enough damage, not enough damage. Not a Screamer. 
Or Artemis, rather. Not an Artemis. Is that going to be enough? The crowd's coming in here and it's taking some damage. But again, it's not going to be enough. And while Tarantulas are coming forward, grab again for Mom Not Null, it's not going to be damaged anywhere near enough. I'm Not Null managing to hold the line, and that is all there is. I mean, I'm Not Null is losing metal extractors in the south. Those are going to be rebuilt by Gold Spaghetti. Eastern side of the map, same thing. Gold Spaghetti just slowly ripping them to pieces with the lotuses. At this point, it's almost just an insult. But it's working. It's opening it up. Gold Spaghetti's got stuff back, so why not? Raven's coming in here, however. Taking out that Weaver. Ah, there, there it is. Taking the Weaver now. So the Weaver gone. There is more dead Ravens, because Chainsaw... Oh, not quite. Oh, so close. Same time, assault in the main base. Only night and only night remains, thanks again to the crabs. Unfortunately, it is kind of hard to deal with crabs. I will not lie. It's a tough thing to do. Now, considering what Gold Spaghetti is playing with factory wise, Widow? Widow would be a good idea. Oh, unprecedented students in the chat saying the new 0k because they they wanted to play because they love Supreme Commander but didn't like the scale of 0k battles but they're loving this scale it's like yeah no Ravage is a good one for the larger scale it just actually a lot of a lot of 1.1 maps are if it's a 12 by 12 map or bigger usually it's gonna lead to a reasonable it, scale about this large and honestly this isn't that large a scale like really if you think about it each side's running like 20-ish mobile units simultaneously at most, it's really not that high scale. Now, granted, the units are being rebuilt quickly, but this is actually a considerably large army for I'm not null, and it's 11 units. While at the same time, Gold Spaghetti's got maybe six. So the scale's kind of deceptive, because a lot of it is just the fact that you're expanding across the map and have all these defenses and some units that are scattered about. But in terms of army size it's pretty small but hey it's cool that you like it i'm glad i'm glad you're appreciating the scale as it is i mean personally i quite like the fact that zero k makes every unit feel meaningful while also allowing for a larger scale so you don't need to have hundreds of units to feel like you're you have an army that's doing a bunch of cool things just a couple dozen units is plenty I'm not all, however, is taking a bit of damage. Please coming in here, trying to take out these tarantulas. Not managing to do that thanks to I'm not all's commander. Honestly, gold spaghetti. I'd build, I'd build a trinity by now. I don't. They don't have the money for it. No. No, I can see you building a missile silo. Inferno this set of wind generators. Yeah, that would do it. Gold Spaghetti... Well, they are losing for attrition. That is the one problem. Building a missile silo, missile silo would be risky. But I would like to see... Because that would at least make it a lot easier for Gold Spaghetti to rip apart I'm Not Null's base. Because they wouldn't have the wind generators and I'm Not Null wouldn't be able to produce as much. Maybe go to the caretakers as well. And then, yeah. A couple of good Infernos would completely wreck this base. I think Gold Spaghetti's kind of got on that tunnel vision game plan, though, where they just want to get this over with. And so we're just going to get World War One with crabs. It's trench warfare. With crabs. So, we have the Agus. We will soon not have the Igus. Just, spoiler alert, that, or Aspis, rather. We'll soon not have an Aspis. It will die. Because the next shot's coming from the Phantom. They're going to be able to penetrate the shield because they're going to over-penetrate the damage. And, oh, no, they're not close enough. No, they've retreated with the Phantom. What? 
Oh, okay, that Aspis could actually set up a setup that actually let them live. That is not what I expected at all. To be quite honest, I expected they would be able to attack. Because, okay, they are targeting the Aspis. There it is, Aspis down. I was wondering about that. I just did not see that happening. And air pad, or airplane plant down. Massive cost to gold spaghetti thanks to the tarantulas, but I think it's worth it. Because a lot of what I'm not all had when it came to their assets was air units. And now they still do have ravens and a thunderbird, but it's going to be a lot easier, especially with these moving crabs, just to get rid of everything. And Ooh, an imp. Because why not? Come in, stun out that aspis. Opening everything up. This is Gold Spaghetti winning the game right now. Crabs able to take out the Aspis. The moving crabs being destroyed. I'm not null. Unfortunately, moving their army into a bunch of phantoms. You cannot deal with it with crabs and have them survive. We see exactly that happen. Gold Spaghetti with that Reaver able to defend against fleas coming in. So the phantoms are not able to be destroyed. Gold Spaghetti takes it. I'm not all throws in the towel. After a 40 minute slog of a game where, honestly, they were very dead even when it came to economy. But I'm not Nola. Had an army, just did not manage to hold the line. Gold Spaghetti, after taking that reclaim, was gradually able to push in. And while I'm not Null was able to hold the line with Thunderbirds and the occasional crab, Gold Spaghetti just had that advantage of the Phantoms and was able to push that through eventually into a win. I feel like I'm not Null could have changed that up a little bit though. Like I mean, they were kind of playing defensive in the end of the game, but. Now, in the middle of the game, if they had rebuilt their metal extractors more, it would have been easier for them to stay in this game. They went for a lot of reclaim, which I'm proud of. I'm very proud that they did that. But they needed more of the metal extractors. They needed a bit more when the caretaker is building up more things. Because it wasn't enough to use the metal they had. So, it wasn't bad ideas. It was just, again, rebuilding metal extractors is so important. So, that is, I believe, all of round three. Sheesh. So, we're moving on to round four. We'll be back with that in a few minutes. Stay tuned.